Oh, hey guys. Uh, oh, hey. Thank ya. <laughs> it's another Ali day. Super goal Sunday. Yes, edition. super goal Sunday. This was established by Felicia, so we'll be doing this every every Sunday. Okay, so... um. Because you guys said so, though. Right. Oh, yes, that's true. That's true. Uh... To Last Sunday we missed because I was in yeah, we'll Los be Angeles, California. Right, hey, y'all. Right, she was um she living was away, the dream, living the dream, and I was living the nightmare. I was alone, and it was not pleasant. And um, yeah, so that's what happened there. I asked Dave a question earlier today because uh, well, you want to say it. You can go ahead and say okay. it. I love your speaking voice. Jelly. It was, it, it, it was Jelly. somebody. It was somebody who um, who actually um, well, they mentioned this to Felicia, but I remember being asked this too, maybe a few years back. Do I think that I? I remember being asked, "Do I think that I rush into being married?" And you, babe, you know I can see you making faces. <laughs> No, I'm just thinking about, I'm thinking about the content, and that's what the face is about. Oh, oh, yeah. So, wait, uh, what was that face? What did it mean? The face yeah. was like, what are they thinking? But we're going to go ahead and talk about it anyway. Right. Because we thought it was important to, to think about, just to put it on the table. Well, so from that face that you just made, what was your instant reaction? But you have to ask the question, because I was making a face before you asked the question, because I knew what the question was going to be, because I'm like your co-host. Okay. Um, so the question is, do we believe we, do we believe that we rushed into marriage? Was it destiny that got us to this point or was it a deadline? And so it's no secret, um, that there, there's not a significant difference in age uh, from us, but, uh, Felicia at the, at the time that what, at the time that I proposed, I was 24, you were 29 or 30. 30, baby. You were 30? Was well, truty. Right. Dirty, truty. Dirty, dirty. <laughs> you, you were that. All right. So, um, I don't know what to say from that. Are you want to take it over? Okay, so you proposed to me when you were 24 and I was 30, but we had started dating much before that. We right. Four years. Right. We had we, four years dating. Right. So, I mean, you're with someone for four years. Do you know or not? And I mean, hopefully you do know because some people are, you know, they, they're smooth criminals. You know, you, you just don't know that person. And it's because they're like, uh, what do you say? You, you used to call me an enigma. Yes. Right? Right? Yeah. So I some still don't keep know that. your fancy tale. Well, that's the good thing, I guess, because we have a surprise, whole lot of life surprise. to live to get to know each other. But I'll just get to the point of my, I don't think that we rushed into being married. But did you rush into being married? Who? Oh, them? You? Yes. Or me? You? Them. Did you? I wonder. Did you? Like, did you rush into marriage? What are some of the signs that make you know that you rushed into marriage? I know for me, I was dirty. Dirty, dirty. Mm -hmm. That's what we're saying this month. Okay. Dirty, dirty. Okay. And I was, I was kind of just like, okay, number one, we have been together for way too long. Way too long without marriage. You know, um... You mean without sex or without marriage? Both. Okay. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They kind of go hand in hand. It was like our sexual relationship was mute because the because marriage... Really, right. Right. And so it was like kind of like the pressure for both. But then it was like, oh my God, come on. Like, I've been with you for four years, dude. Come on. I'm, right. thir I'm 30. Right. And I've been with you for four years. Right. So do you love it or not? Nah? Right. Do you want it or not? Nah? Right. You know... Are you changing the name or not? Right. And exactly. so I think that women and men get married for different reasons. I think that Sharif, you know, when you tell the story of why you wanted to marry me versus why I tell the story why I wanted to marry you, our reasons are not the same at all. So do you feel that you got married? Do you feel you had a deadline? Or do you feel... I was 21 when we started dating, so I didn't feel like I had a deadline. Um, I did feel a... I did feel a bit of pressure from you to put a ring on it, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't feel forced. Let's talk about the to pressure. Do that. The pressure was because you had came out of a committed relationship already, and so there were things that you were doing that I just wasn't yet. You know, I was, I I just wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Example would be every time we would go 
to a wedding. Not every time. I but mean, it was in the it, fourth year. It started year, to guys. get in the third, oh fourth year. Oh my god! No, we, it was the fourth okay, year. So One friend proposed to his girlfriend of like four days. You know, the, these people have been together like a year, and here we are. Like, hum, I had a nervous breakdown at someone's wedding. Literally, in the parking lot, nervous breakdown. Yeah. How much longer do you need? To yeah. Do? So, so those. That type of pressure was definitely at the last stretch, but I had already made up my mind that I would marry her anyway. I knew when we started dating that I was going to marry her, but if you remember, like, I, I recall saying to her, you know, the Bible says a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. And, no, I, and I told her, you're not a wife, you're a woman still. Like, you're not operating like a wife. And nor was I operating in the headspace of a husband. Um... Not saying that we were supposed to do what husband and wife do, but there's just certain, it's a certain mentality that a woman carries and a man carries when you know, okay, they're ready to jump that broom. And we weren't there yet, but I knew that you were the one that I wanted. And it wasn't because I had pressure to get married. It was because I was in love with you. And I knew that it was just, you, you did it and do it for me. You pull out those sides of me that I'm uncomfortable showing to the world so if you could do it all over again though would you like would you have done it at that time or would you do it like around now if i could have done it all over again knowing the information that i know now i would have gotten married to you earlier if, do you feel like you were rushed okay so or do you feel i'm like so you excited to talk about this okay. really i don't feel rushed but what I do, what I would like for, you know, everybody who's watching, if you aren't married already, or you're thinking about marriage, or you're like, not like, you know, you're like I used to be, and you're single, and you're planning your wedding from your bed while your heart is cracking mm -hmm. in two from the guy who you really think you're supposed to be with, but you're not going to be with him. Um, my thing is this. So like you said, I had gotten out of a relationship. It wasn't new. Like I wasn't like you know, four days of this guy. I had broke up with him like three years before mm -hmm. you and I even got together. But the right. clicker was I went through so many life transitions that like, I don't know. Like, I, th I don't think that women are ever fully where they are. I don't think humans in general. Are. I don't think that you're at your place of peace until you die. You know, I think you're constantly evolving, you're constantly growing, the road, less traveled, all that beautiful stuff is, you know, not traveled alone. Mm -hmm. But, I was broken, you know, I was, I was engaged to the person that I was with before my honey. Um, I, you know, dated randomly in between there, and I was just a, a puzzle, puzzle full of pieces. pieces. Yeah, and so what did I do? I went to the Lord. Guide me to the cross. Yes, that's what I did. Right? So I get to the church that we went to, and who's there? Ooh. Ooh. And I had already liked you. Yeah. Anyway, I was very attracted to him. He was a dancer, and he was a profound speaker and I just really you know his his physique he you pop it babe I'm very physically attracted to you yes yes please okay okay so but anyway um and so I got to church and I'm broken and I'm at the altar every Sunday I mean you guys can relate if you 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 know and love the Lord that's what you do you know when all else fails you go back to daddy you know and so I get there and there you are and you're white doing what you do <laughs> And so I'm thinking, what am I going to do to get this guy? Like, I have to, I have to be saved, sanctified, and filled with a Holy Ghost. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And so I immersed myself into um, church. Not the Lord, initially, but church. I got on the praise team. I, got, I was looking at the dance ministry. I was showing up every, anytime the church doors was open. Boom! I was busting through them joints. Like I wanted to be there because I wanted to prove to you that I was, you know, like I was virtuous. Right. And but I, I didn't take in, in in the consideration that I was fragile. Right. You know. And so then it was like we started dating, and then all the mothers of the church and the, the grandmothers and all the people who watched my husband grow up were like. You shouldn't wear those skirts above your knees. 
you know, and you know, you have to go to everything he preaches at. Right. And you must pay tithes and offering because they need to see you right. pay tithes and offering so right. that they'll pay tithes and offering. And I'm like, oh my God, all these freaking rules. Right. And then at the time I was also in college, which is, I mean, depending on your experience, I think that everyone takes college, you know, away because I was a, a an adult student. So no, what... When I'm you say there. that all of this, oh, okay, sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting there. there. Okay. So, um, you know, I was an adult learner, and then I got my job, and so like being, you know, dating a preacher, and then being a college student, you know, adult, and then you, you know, you get a cor you get a job in what's considered corporate America. Right. There's a certain, you know, there like there's things that come next. Right. The next obvious thing is marriage. Marriage. Ding, ding, ding. Right, right, right. You know, and then obviously, right. you know, you the fruit. Right. You get the fruit, get the fruit dropping from those trees. Right. right. <laughs> and so that's what that's what happened to me. And so I can't say that I was on a deadline per se. Yours seemed yours seemed like it was a bit of a of a okay. This is a. Milestones. So, yeah, like this is accomplished or uh, this is her milestone right. that I reached. So now what's next? Next is this. Right. So it wasn't like a, I have to be married. I have to be married. But yeah, it wasn't. No, it definitely wasn't. I have to be married by 30, whatever I was when right. we got married. No, it wasn't that. But it was certainly like, okay, now I'm now I've, I've accomplished this. And now I've right. accomplished that. And now I've accomplished, okay, now we have the husband. And now you have the, the son. And now, of right. course, you have the daughter. And of course, quite naturally, you want the home. And so you're right. a house. You right. know, and you live in a normal state. <laughs> and you like, you know what I mean? And, but it, but the, the the thing, the, the irony of it for me is, I I do ponder with like, it was it a deadline? Was it a, a a little deadline happening back here somewhere that I wasn't cognizant of? You know, because I was going through so many transitions, or is it just like natural progress, like, pr progression? Like this is what happens when when women age or when men age or whatever. Like right. this is life. Right. I don't know. So I think that when you pose the question. Is it destiny or a deadline? I think that your destiny is a deadline. I think that we serve a mighty, awesome God who, um, you know, he, he has his deadlines for things that he wants to occur in our lives. Right. And so for someone else to ask you, you know, did you go to college because that was what you, were, you thought you were supposed to do? Yeah, well, yeah. Right. You know, so I kind of think that destiny and deadline, they intertwine. Brief, brief disruption with the children. Okay, so the point I was making was, you had a deadline, like milestones. In a sense, you had a little deadline that was going in the back of your head because it was like, okay, so I've accomplished this, so what's next? I, I wanted think. to jump your bones. All right, okay, that's uh, understandable. Mm -hmm. Perfectly understandable, which is a segue to what mine's was too, because mine's was more so of just a dogmatic approach. You know, I was young bachelor, what have you, but I also had in the back of my mind, yeah, but being in a relationship where you're consistently having sex, but you're not married, that's not good. You don't do that. So, mine's was, you've, you've, you've got the girl, but in order to get the goods, you have to give her the ring. You know what I mean? I was wearing an abstinence ring. Right. You were wearing an abstinence ring. Love that ring. However, I say all that to say this, and I think that you would agree with me too, that although you and I both had this standard, you know, like at it wasn't like at this age i have to be married but it, it was more so at this part of my life marriage is definitely a must we did not get married just for the sake of getting married right we were we already knew one another we were already in love i knew that i wanted to marry you for multiple reasons um but it was it's like little little subtleties that just nudged me right on that road. One of them also being, you you were completely honest with me. You know what I mean? I love that about you. You just, you told it like it was, and it wasn't, you tell them like it is, like you need to do this, you need to do that. You told me about yourself, but you also told me about you. Right. You know, and so I appreciated that a lot. So we were already in love, like head over heels in love. Felicia and I, when we were dating, we we saw each other every day seriously every, every day there was only day. one day that we did not see one another and that was still because i still wanted to feel a part of my bachelor life 
you know, um, was Saturday. Saturday, I said, okay, let's let's like spend some time away from one another for like a few hours. But we randomly text still one another throughout the day, and it would be like, I miss you, I miss you too. Oh, this Saturday thing is so stupid. You know, it was that sort of thing. But literally, we saw each other every day because we worked together, and after we worked together, we dated after work, and then. <laughs> Stayed with one another until about like one, two, three o'clock in the morning, and then I would go home and wake up and put my little brother on the bus, and then see her at work the next no, morning. No, and come back oh, and pick me up for work. Yeah, for work, and then do it all over again. And then <laughs> it was a portion where we worked together, and then we went to school together. And when I say I'm, we went to school together, I was I was already a graduate of school, but she went back, and I was up there doing. Doing my homework. I wasn't just saying, oh, that's so crazy, <laughs> but it was. I was doing her homework, specifically her Spanish homework, okay? I was doing that for her, helping her you were listening out to as my much as I could. My yes, speaking. yeah, yeah. So, that's why I love Team you. Ali. I need a reminder sometimes. Right, so we were Team Ali already before we were Ali Williams. No, Wait. we were Team Ali. We were Ali. Team Ali already before. When we when were. When we were Ali Williams, right. We, it, it was already set in stone. You know what I mean? So. But what does bother me sometimes, which, like, I don't know if I've ever shared this with you. When you say, like, I told myself that I was going to marry my first love. Like, you're the first and last woman. Like, that bothers me. Because I'm like, so do you love me? Or did you, like, did you marry me? I'm sorry, guys. I, did you marry me because, you know, you loved me? Or because you wanted to marry the first girl that you fell in love no, with? No, I married you because I knew that I loved, well, it's kind of like hand in hand. Because, yes, you were the first woman that I fell in love with. But I know my capacity. I knew my capacity when I was 14 years old, at least in this regard. Mm -hmm. I knew that I'm not, the, I'm not the man who would fall in love with a woman and then we fall out of love and I refine love again. That's not, that's not me. So I always had in the back of my mind, if Felicia and I never worked, which I don't think that that would happen. Like, we're always going to work, even when we're... In our not working phase, we always work it out. But if I was like, if if, if Felicia and I, it just don't That's work out. I'm never leaving you, huh? I'm never leaving you, and I'm never leaving you. So like that works out too. Mm -hmm. But my thought was, if we never, if we like don't work out, I'm I'm not falling in love again. I'm not doing this all. You say that, but if I'm I die, family, what are you gonna do? If you die, if I already, I had a conversation. Mm -hmm about this with somebody. I said, if Felicia were to die, I would honestly put all my energy into either two things, my children, and if they just was like, that, you need to find a life, then I would put it into some type of missionary work. And I would literally move out of the United States. You say this all country. the time. Yes. Do you not I, think I, my kids need a, like a mom? No. They... They can find a Better mom and a mother-in-law or something. I, I just don't, you know. They can't find no mom and no mother-in-law. Hey, listen. Well, they're not getting a second mom from me. They're not. So, I mean, my children will figure out. But if they're just like that, you need to go out and do whatever you need to do. Because you're, you're taking too much of my life. I'm like, oh, okay. I'll just move out of the country and do what I have to do. And I know I would do that because... Oh, man, you little sexy. I just love me for you. I know that was super corny to you guys, but he was looking good in the camera view. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, I'm, I don't know. That about answers the question, right? So, even if, even if we had a deadline, it was a deadline we think that was brought on by God. It was downloaded into our, our deadline was downloaded go. into preach, our preacher. spirits from the Lord. I love it. And therefore, that was our destiny. Our That's deadline it. was downloaded into our. I don't know. I don't have another D, babe. You gotta work with the D. <laughs> our, our deadline. The divine downloaded a deadline into and our destiny. Though that was our destiny. I, I don't the have another. The divine D. Downloaded, downloaded the deadline. The deadline into our destiny. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. You are so right fresh, yes. dude. Yes, 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 yes. You got did you get that? You gotta have wordplay. The divine. The divine downloaded, downloaded the, the deadline, deadline into, into your, your destiny. destiny. What that simply means <laughs> is that God already orchestrated all of this. 
He already knew that we would be together at the right place at the right time and being where we are right now, talking to you, hopefully and encouraging you too. For some, And if someone ever doubted your relationship or said, mm, are you guys really meant for each other or do you think that it was circumstantial? Like, was it internal or was it external circumstances that brought you together? This was all internal. And again, Felicia and I were the best of friends while we were in a relationship, while we were in, in our dating phase, you know? And I think another key thing too, and then I'm done on my part, is we did not hook up because of our weaknesses or our hurts. And I know that people do that too. You know what I mean by that? Like, if we had the same type of hurt, we, uh, we would cling to one another because of that hurt. Like, there's women who I know of who they've established a friendship solely because they might have had the same rape story. Mm. Or, like, their mothers were abusive. Yeah, we're day and night. So, like our skin complexion. Right, right. So, it's like they, they, gravitate towards, uh, they gravitate towards one another because of that pain. But they never settled those issues, so that just makes a whole bunch of mess even between them. That didn't happen with us. We gravitated toward one another because of our likeness. You know, there's there's just things that we like about one another because we're alike. OK, her and I both are very comfortable in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, very comfortable. <laughs> you know, we 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 have a lot of similarities, even though on the external, um, it, it, it seems like we're opposite. I'm crazy. Literally. And it's cool. Right. Right. But those type of things. I mean, on the, that surface, you know, that's, you got to get deeper than that. We have a whole lot of similarities and that's what attracted, that's what made us friends. You want to find a friend, friends are people who have like a similarities and then they come together. And then we got married because our opposites also attracted as well. You know, say this all the time, where I'm weak, she's strong, where she's weak, I'm strong. So we just work with one another. What do you think? I think the divine downloaded Download it. the deadline into your destiny oh. do not let anyone tell you anything other than that you are destined to be exactly where you are say it girl at this time in your life yes the divine have faith downloaded the deadline <laughs> into your destiny don't let nobody change your mind, guys. Don't. Be encouraged. Be in love. Be in peace. When something seems bad, you turn go it ahead around. and turn that thing around. Oh! Make something good. Peace! Blessings.